Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. This morning at Clinton High School, we have Tanya Contreras has signed to play soccer over at USC Union and continue her education there, too. And we're going to talk just a little bit with her this morning about her decision. Number one, congratulations. Now, the second question is, did anybody else show any interest in you? Um, I did get some offers from North Greenville, but Major Benson also showed me USC Union. And when... He showed me some of the information of U.S. and Union. I did fall in love with the school. Um, there was some adjusting to it, but adjust is easy. And if you want something, you're going to go for it. So I decided to stay with U.S. and Union. Okay. Now, it's one of those schools where it's close to home, but it's far enough deal? Yes, sir. It's a perfect. Yeah, it's close enough you can come home on the weekend and get Mama to do your laundry and stuff? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I chose to go the other way myself, but that's another story. <laughs> now, as I understood uh, Coach uh, Templeton saying there, Nikki, that you have been playing soccer a good while. Now, this is the first year that Clinton has had a full-blown girls soccer team. But you did play, I believe, JV girls last year. And prior yes, to that, you played on a boys team? Yes, sir. That's correct. What was that like? Um, when I first went out there, I was nervous. Like Coach Hammond said, I could not talk, even if I wanted to. But once I actually got on the field, I got better at it. The boys did make me feel at, at home. Uh, I had to adjust to that because if not, I would have got trampled. But it was an amazing <laughs> experience. And I'm glad that I got to play with them. It made me stronger as a person. And it made me become the person I am to lead the girls' soccer team. Now, what position do you play? I play goalie, sir. All right. Did you, um, is uh, the other opponents are getting close to you. Did they maybe kind of pull up a little bit because you were a girl, or did they go flat out after you? I can assure you, sir, they did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember during one game, which I will never forget, they did not pull anything back on me. I had a situation where I had to go one-on-one -on -one with a boy, and when we did go on one-on-one, -on -one, I ended up winning, and the boy ended up losing, which was a very good moment for me and made me happy. I bet he wasn't a happy <laughs> fellow at that moment in time. I'm pretty sure he wasn't uh, either. Now, thinking back over your career here at Clinton High School, any one moment, any one game, or one match or anything like that that really stands out in your mind that you'll probably never forget? I have two big moments that I would never forget. Um, one is when I played with the boys team and I got the hustle award. I did not expect it and I was very surprised and I very very happy because it made me reflect on what I've done to actually earn it. Mm -hmm. And then the other is when I played with my girls soccer team for the first time and we got our first win. I saw how happy they were and that's how I felt the first day I, pl I played with them. Because the first day, yeah, it, they didn't believe in themselves but once we got that first win they started getting the courage. Now. Talking about going to USC Union, obviously you want to go over and play a little bit of soccer, but you also are going over there to continue your education. Have you thought about a major in which you expect that to be? Yes, sir. Um, I'm very, I'm a science geek, and so, <laughs> so um, when I looked up USC Unions and their majors, I saw information on science, and I thought it would be a perfect fit for me. Okay. What you want to do after you get out of college? After I get out of college, hopefully I can be, I can stay in Clinton in the Clinton area because I love this place. This is my home, and hopefully I can lead other people to get into USC Union and other places and follow their dreams. Now, as I understand it, you're pretty active here in other things, including ROTC, which your coach would know about a little bit. So, uh, has that been a help to you taking ROTC? Yes, sir, because if I did not take JROTC, I wouldn't have gone for soccer. I wouldn't have gotten the courage to actually do it. Um, and if I didn't have JROTC in my life, I would still be the shy girl I was a couple of years ago. And without JROTC, I, I just wouldn't be me. They helped me figure out who I am and helped me grow as a person. Did you ever think about breaking new ground when you started out with the JV girls team, or was it just fundamentals? We have to learn how to kick the ball, we got to learn how to strike, we got to learn how to save, yeah. that kind of thing. You're the first girl to sign with soccer in our school history. So. Well, I'm very proud that we're making progress with both programs. Um, 
when we did stop the the girls we wanted to learn the basics first mm -hmm. but once they started picking up pretty quick we started um actually giving them more work and the good thing is they did not back down they're as strong as me and they kept going with it all right well again we want to congratulate you and wish you nothing but luck but of course you got to finish out this soccer season here first yes sir <laughs> all right thank you and good luck to you thank you sir.